Shalom everyone, Eagles Wings supporters and Impact Destiny team. We're here in Jerusalem, you'll never guess where, at the President's residence. President Shimon Perez right now um, is in the position of deciding who he's going to appoint for the Israeli elections that just took place last week. The Prime Minister position mm -hmm. is still up for grabs. Mm -hmm. It came out so close between um, Zippy Livni and the Kadima party and Benjamin Netanyahu with Likud that the president is in the position right now of literally deciding what's going to happen in the next couple years. Yeah, and if you if you don't understand what's happening with the elections, you know, neither do we really. <laughs> I think a lot of the Israelis don't. It's a very complicated system. Yeah. The point is, we need to pray. Amen. That's right. Because the next few days, the next even weeks, depending how long this process takes, is going to be very critical to Israel's history in the immediate future. We, there may even be something happening by the time that you see this video. Things are so time sensitive right now that we just urge you to pray. And Tara, could you just tell us a little bit about what that Torah portion said this week from yeah. the Old Testament? Well, it's really incredible because this week, all over Israel and all over the nations, the Torah portion is Exodus 18 through Exodus 20. And it's the portion that Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, instructs Moses to appoint judges throughout the land of Israel, throughout the tribes of Israel. And it's incredible Amazing. because it talks here how Jethro was telling Moses to appoint able men to appoint men that fear God and men that are able to just stand um, and be those that the people of Israel come to for direction and discernment as judges. So what an opportunity for us to pray in this moment and really to come in agreement with this week's Torah portion and really see God's judges and able men that are uh, fearing the Lord rise up in the land of Israel. It's just really been amazing to see the timing of all of this. Yeah. yeah. You know, Incredible. when we sat down and looked at the calendar of when the SWAT team was going to yeah. go to Israel, we had no idea that we would be arriving the day that Israeli troops were yeah. going into Gaza. You know, we knew the elections were on the horizon, but again, everything can change at a moment's notice. Yeah. You know, they say, if you don't like the situation in the Middle East, wait a day because it'll change. Yeah. And so we're seeing what's happening in the government and seeing how critical of a time we've been here to pray and we're seeing answers on the ground. Yeah. And besides Incredible. praying in the prayer tower, another objective we've had has been connecting with leaders here in Israel, not just in the government or the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but also with the body of Christ here in the land. And one of the organizations that's been bringing a testimony of Jesus to the land of Israel and the government of Israel has been the ICEJ, the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem, and we had the privilege of doing devotions with them just the other day. That's they awesome. invited the SWAT team to come and lead worship and bring a word, and I shared from Robert's teaching on the four courts. is a teaching that Robert has done about levels of relationship that the Lord calls us to walk in with other believers, and they were just really touched by that, uh, very enriched by it, and just a very warm reception that we got there from ICEJ, an organization that's really been bearing witness to Christ in Israel for decades. Yeah. And so it was an honor for us as ambassadors of Robert, of Eagle's Wings, right. to bring a word yeah. to this group of leaders. So we're here to tell you that everything is going really well. The traffic is going by, as I'm sure you're hearing, but we're in front of the president's residence. Keep praying with us yeah. because we're seeing the fruit before our own eyes. Amen. So God bless. And shalom. shalom.